நோடி ஆரோக்கியத்தின் அடையாளம் elder daughter jayshri she told me a story of a doctor uh, who is a psychotherapist who healed a ward of psychologically disturbed patients a whole ward of psychotically neurotically disturbed patients within a very short period of time and uh, that ward the, no doctor would uh, remain in that ward for a very long time no nurse would dare to even enter the ward because she would be attacked so they were all very abusive patients and this doctor had healed so people came and asked him it is so wonderful how did you heal a whole ward of people in this record breaking time and he said i did not heal i healed myself if i am put in a place where i have to witness this people that psychosis that neurosis that problem is already within me that is why i have attracted all these people whom i am witnessing in my life so they are only a projection they are only a projection they are exhibiting the behavior whereas i am not showing that behavior i have so many suppressed parts in myself which i which needs to be transformed these suppressed parts na edana adaki vekkarano adu ellame velipadum adu mattavanga moolama veli velipadum no so i have to clean up my frequency i have suppressed so many things which i need to transform so every day this doctor will take all each case record and say i love you i apologize i love you because this aspect of you in me i have not loved i have judged so i love you i apologize because i have not noticed you so many years i have not noticed you at all so many years so i apologize and i thank you because you are reminding me of this aspect in me which i have not looked at so i love you i apologize thank you thank you i love you thank you mm-hmm. such a beautiful healing technique and so many of us may not have got this book to read you no know, this technique is called ho pono pono which is a hawaiian technique practiced by the huna tribes so i love you i apologize thank you and now i thank professor peter for bringing this beautiful technique you don't have to go through all the healing methods you don't have to go through all the techniques one technique love you thank you love you thank you love you thank you so become a lover carry this signature of love in your energy body when you carry the signature of love in your energy body love casts fear that is what jesus said love casts fear and ramakrishna paramahamsa said if there is one religion we should all follow it is the religion of love that is what all masters said lord buddha said once in uh, his followers his uh, disciples were said buddha sent his disciples to the forest go sit down there and meditate in nature nature enlightened buddha sitting under a tree buddha got enlightened not in a monastery he sat under a tree and got enlightened nature can enlighten anybody so he said go to the forest and meditate they came back running and said buddha we are afraid we are afraid of all the dangerous animals 
We are afraid that the tigers would attack us. Then he said, I will teach you one technique. I'll teach you one technique. Follow that technique and no animal would attack you. He did not teach judo. He did not teach any martial arts. He did not teach them how to use weapons. He just said, do metta meditation. Metta means loving kindness, loving compassion. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. May I be loving. May I be kind and compassionate. May I be enlightened. May I be filled with love and gratitude. May you be happy. May you be loving. May you be compassionate. May you be filled with all blessings. Then may all beings in the universe experience love, experience light, experience compassion, experience enlightenment. So first bless yourself with loving kindness, bless others with loving kindness, bless your enemies with loving kindness, bless the whole universe with loving kindness. And the disciples went back and meditated peacefully, so the story goes. So the Mitha kindness meditation is being practiced for 2500 years. And now it has been simplified. I love you, thank you. Walk like a rich person, you know, throwing the treasures to everybody. You are standing in the airport going to receive somebody. You are waiting. I, I practice this in the airport. I go to the airport often to receive my children. And I say, is Jayshree coming? Is Jayshree coming? No. Jayshree is not coming now. Somebody else is coming. No. Then I say, I love you. I love you. I bless you. Thank you. Then somebody else comes. I love you. I bless you. I thank you. And at last my daughter comes and my heart is overflowing with love because I have blessed and loved everybody. So this technique is so useful to me all my life. Nanu nai nesi kiren nandri. Nanu yedha therin chanalo theriyatiyam paravala. Idu onna matta therin chakonga. That is so beautiful. Let love become your vibrational signature. The next very beautiful uh, energy is gratitude. It is actually the key which opens your soul. Every night before I go to bed, I take my gratitude notebook and write, Thank you God, thank you angels, thank you masters for bringing such wonderful people into my life. Such, such lovely experiences have happened to me throughout this day. This one technique is more than enough. I open my hands and say, thank you God, thank you God, thank you God, thank you God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I feel this blessing, God has blessed me so much that my gratitude book is overflowing. It is overflowing and I keep on, my husband presents me with notebooks. He says, you are writing, you are writing to the source, you are writing to the angels. Take this lovely notebooks, take this lovely pen, take this lovely ink, you know, and write your gratitude. You know, and I write, 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 write. I don't follow complicated uh, techniques. Very simple. Love, gratitude. It's a, it's a key which opens your soul to the unlimited non-physical energy. So before we came to the physical, we were in the non-physical. After we got a form, we forgot. So when we express gratitude, you are actually making a little opening up and connecting to the source energy and saying, thank you God, thank you, thank you, thank you. No? So this is a wonderful technique. I am not giving you many emotional 
techniques to handle emotions. Let us not look at fixing something. When I want to fix something, I need techniques. All that I need is, I'm not going to look at what is not working, but just turn around and say, oh, that is working. I see light there. That is all that's needed. Why do you want to get fixed on fixing a problem? There is, when there is no problem at all, the problems get fixed when you leave them alone. Take a bucket of water which is turbid, leave it alone. After some time it settles. Do you take every particle by particle and make it settle down? No. So our doing becomes our undoing. Just do nothing, just leave things alone. So love and gratitude will help you to align with the source energy. This alignment with the source energy reminds you of your unique uniqueness. Your blueprint gets all awakened. I am an engineer by profession, trained to uh, in electronics engineering and I have done a lot of things in uh, work in automation, real-time systems, but my heart was more in spirituality in all these kinds of subjects. So I said I made a choice in 2000, I made a choice about my body, I made a choice about my mind, I made a choice about my spirit, now I made a choice about my profession. I said, now I will choose to just align with teaching spirituality. You know? And that alignment has opened up so many miraculous avenues, so many doors have opened, so many loving people I have met. Wonderful teachers have walked into my center and said, I, we will teach you, we will teach you. And one, one thing after the other, you know, my life really opened up. So alignment with the source energy is your true center. When we try to align with anything else, we all become eccentric. We all become schizophrenic, and no, actually split, split in our mind. Split from what? Split from the divine. When we are split from the divine, we are out of alignment. So alignment with the source energy is the only centering that we require. All other techniques, it is all superfluous. Maybe, you know, it gives you some relief for the time being, but the true alignment is, should be with God. So life is a process. It is a process which unravels itself. You do not know what is 100 kilometers ahead, but you know exactly what is uh, about 500 meters, I can have a vision and say, yes, I can see here, so I will just follow that path. I remember what Dr. Vijaya Venkat told in a class one day. She said, if you do not know what to do in a moment, do whatever you know at that moment. Whatever you know at that moment, what little you can do, please do that. Then you cannot have all the answers in life. It is impossible to have all the answers. We want to control the outcome all the time. Structuring, structuring, structuring. Time structures, life structures. This should be done in this year. This should be like how Dr. Venkat just completed her talk. Everything falling into a little, little boxes. This structuring is the pain we have created for ourselves. So whatever is arising in our life, it could be a good feeling, it could be a not good feeling. It is only a navigation system. Your feeling is a navigation system. It tells you whether you are moving in the right direction. Don't do anything which does not give joy. 
people stick to the professions, stick to their uh, education, whatever they have taken up for years and years and slog like donkeys. And when they are 40 years, they have a big crisis. They break down and they ask the quintessential question, what am I here for? What am I doing with my life? So, when we learn to honor, that God in us is telling, I am not happy. Do something which makes me happy. There is this God in you, the divine flame in you, and honor that flame and say, I, I will make you happy. Okay, now I'll start the center. Okay, now building a center, that makes me happy. Doing the courses, that makes me happy. Growing my vegetables, grows me happy. Composting my waste, makes me happy. No? Cooking for my children, makes me happy. Listening to music, makes me happy. Attending conferences, make me happy. I will do what makes me happy. I don't have to do anything which in order to make somebody else happy. All that I need to be truthful is truthful to myself. Just be truthful to your own self and bless what is coming on your pathway. 